November 2015, paper 2, question 12 onwards. When we're enlarging the shape, we're making it bigger. So when we're enlarging it by a scale factor 2, the diagram stretches out and becomes double the size. We use the coordinate 2, 1 as a center of enlargement, which means, coordinate means across from the origin, across 2, up 1. This is the center of enlargement. Okay, so if you're looking at the position here of the first coordinate, from 2, 1, you're moving across 1, up 2. So you're going across 1, up 2. So when we're looking at across 1, up 2, to make it twice as big, you're going across 2 and up 4. So when you're going across 2 and up 4 from that point, you're going 1, 2, and then up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that place, that point, corner point here, has moved there. It's double the distance away from the original center of enlargement. So this bottom corner now moves up two. So instead of going up two, it goes up four squares. So one, two, three, four, because it's twice as big. Instead of coming across six squares, you now double six. So double six is 12 squares. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Instead of coming down two squares, you now come down four squares. So you're coming down four squares, and we're at this point, and then you come back six. So you come back, double six is 12. So you come back, and that shape is twice as big as the original shape. Rotation means twist. So when you're rotating 180 degrees, a full turn is 360. So 180 degrees would be half a turn. You go to the coordinate, this time it's across 1 and up 2. So across 1, up 2, and that becomes our point of rotation. What you would do then is with tracing paper, okay, sketch the axis. Alright, you would then, once you've sketched the axis, mark the point where you're rotating about, draw the shape, the triangle, onto your tracing paper and then you rotate in there 180 degrees 90 degrees would be a quarter of a turn and then 180 would be a half a turn so the shape ends up there so it starts on two it goes across to four minus four and then it goes up there okay and then I can trace my sheet my diagram onto my sheet question 13 when we're working with foreign exchange to exchange from our money to there as you multiply by the exchange rate so when you're looking at this one pound is equal to 350 